Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today I am back with another perfume haul. I know it sounds ridiculous because I just had a perfume haul, but hear me out. Uh, that massive haul was filmed a while ago and obviously we had Black Friday, now we're having Christmas sales, so I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. I bought, I think, around 20 perfumes, but now my perfume collection, it's done. It's completed. Um, this is the part one. I'm gonna have a second part because I don't want to be here for like hours talking about perfumes and that's it. That's it. No more hauls and I'm not talking about just 2021. I'm talking for the past, like for the next few months until something else is coming out because my perfume collection is completed. I can't believe this. Like I have every single scent that I wanted. So before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to the big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and now let's jump in. Okay, let's start. I'm not gonna lie to you, I have in this perfume haul quite a lot of niche and they are pretty expensive, but again, with the sale that's going on, with all of the Black Friday discounts, I couldn't say no. But we also have a celebrity perfume, and I'm talking about God is a Woman from Ariana Grande. I've actually tested this one in store, I wasn't planning to do that because I was just not interested, okay? But I really like the scent, so I got it, it's here now. I really like the box. I have to say, I really like the box. Usually cele celebrity perfumes, they look very <clears throat> cheap. I really like this box, but I'm not the biggest fan of the bottle. Same story for REM, Cloud, uh, Thank You Next, and all of the other um, bottles. Like, is this. What is this? Anyway, we're talking about the scent, not the um, bottle. We have, that is a woman, notes. Opening pear and umbret, middle we have Oris and Turkish Rose, and uh, dry down we have Madagascar Vanilla and Sandalwood. People are saying on Fragrantica that this one smells like cloud, and I'm getting that, okay? And I'm getting that without me looking on Fragrantica. Like when I tested this, I didn't know the notes, I didn't know any like other um, reviews from YouTube, from Fragrantica, I just like tested it. I was like, this is bright, juicy pear, fizzy pear, with some DNA from um, Cloud. And then I saw the comments, I was like, yep, this is what I'm getting. I do really like it. It's again, very every, like same texture as Cloud. It's not going that much into Baccarat Rouge, but it has like that type of DNA, more like the Cloud DNA, not the Baccarat Rouge DNA, but it has this, Fizzy, juicy pear in the opening. And it's not just in, on, in the opening. Like, it stays there the entire time. And I really like it. I feel like this is going to be like your everyday, fun, easy to wear. Not too young. It smells young, but it doesn't smell like, I don't know, a celebrity scent. If that makes any sense. I do really like it. One thing I have to say, it doesn't really project, okay? I didn't wear this one, but I tested a couple of times on my skin. And I've noted, noticed that it doesn't really project, but I really like the scent. So it's cheap. It's not as cheap as celebrity perfumes used to be, okay? Because like years before, 100 ml would be like, I don't know, 20 pounds, 25 pounds. Right now, this is a 30 ml and this one retails for like 30 pounds, which I'm like, why? I understand that the scent doesn't smell necessarily like a celebrity perfume, but still, it's a little bit expensive for a celebrity, especially with this stunning bottle but the scent is very good i really really like it and um, i'll say go and check this one out i do really like it yeah that's everything that i have to say now let's move on to the expensive stuff and i mean very expensive but amazing roja enigma Awood. i mentioned this perfume in my wish list video and i said i have a sample i absolutely adore love i'm just like obsessed with this scent and i'm planning to buy the 50 ml even though i really really prefer the 100 ml bottle now roja saw that video i assume because one day i just woke up and i had a parcel and i was like i didn't order anything they didn't tell me they didn't contact me nothing they just sent it to me and i was like oh, i cannot believe and they actually sent to me the 100 ml and i'm like so thankful and so I have no words I'm, I'm just like oh my god i can't believe i really wanted this perfume for like months like 
a very long time since Pika sent me that sample I was like blown away this is amazing this is stunning but it's too expensive it's too expensive it's too expensive because I really wanted the 100 mil and then I said I'll, I'll just buy the 50 mil but now I just have the 100 mil because they sent it to me and like again I'm so thankful I'm so grateful for all of this just oh, look at this bottle this bottle it's everything I mean look at the cap it's just stunning it's just stunning um, and in my wood has notes we have opening we have bergamot middle we have peach may rose ylang ylang neroli geranium heliotrope and jasmine and the dry down have vanilla musk ori sandalwood ambergris wood and patchouli don't be afraid of the name wood it's not um a very strong wood it gives you original dna i have the enigma essence as well and that one I would say it's brighter, it's fresher. This perfume, from all of those notes, what I'm getting is rose, ilang, oris, and sandalwood. Not really getting the wood. It's it's just like in the background. It's just a supporting note. But this is what I'm getting. This beautiful, fresh rose with ilang. But not the ylang in this is not too um, tropical, okay? And you can definitely smell that there are other flowers. For me, it's, it just like blows my mind how they're mixing all of these flowers because you have white flowers, yellow flowers, uh, pink flowers, red flowers, purple flowers. Normally, like nobody else is doing that, just Roja. Like I've noticed Roja is doing this a lot and this is so feminine and elegant it smells so expensive it is very, very expensive okay but this is your you can wear this one every day okay you can wear it every day i will not because it's way too expensive but the scent it's so beautiful and so it smells so expensive like i would wear this one and this would be like perfect for a wedding, okay? If you are a guest and you want to smell different, but also like very pleasant and very feminine and elegant. If you are the bride, you can definitely wear this one because that would, like I said, is just in the background supporting note. It's so well blended. It's so sophisticated. It's so, oh, elevated. It's amazing. And I'm not saying that because they sent it to me. I wanted to buy this one and they actually sent it to me another one. I'm not the biggest fan. So for me, it really doesn't matter if I buy something, if I don't buy something. Um, I'm just going to say what I'm going to say. This is just stunning. It, it's stunning. It's a special occasion per perfume. It's your special day. It's just amazing. I just love it. Um, yeah, I, I just love it. I have no words. It's so beautiful. Enigma I would from Roja. Now, like I said, besides this one, they sent to me another one. Um, never heard about this. This is like a collaboration um, between Roja and Fornam and Mason. I'm not the biggest fan of this, okay? I love the bottle. This is the most beautiful bottle that I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, just look at this. I mean, it is the most beautiful bottle. But now the scent... It has, it's supposed to be like an amber scent according to Fragrantica, but it has like a peach note. And for me, it's very mature. I would not say vintage because for sometimes vintage perfumes can smell a bit like scratchy. It's very well blended. It's very feminine, but I don't see myself wearing this. I see someone that it's, I don't know, 40, 50, not me. Okay, it's just not for me. So yeah, I'm so annoyed that I'm not the biggest fan of this. But again, I'm not going to be here saying that I absolutely love it because I don't, um, even though it's extremely expensive and they send it to me, I just don't. But this one, it's absolutely amazing. So yeah, those were the Roja perfumes that I had in here. Now, um, let's move on to other perfumes that basically everyone on the planet has them and I don't have. Um, I'm talking about, I'm just going to leave those ones in here. I'm talking about Delina. Wait, I have way too many bottles in here Delina and Delina exclusive those two everyone smell those perfumes everyone has these perfumes and I didn't because I had the Juliana version for both of them and I was like I'm good 
they're very strong they're very potent i don't need the original i really wanted the boxers and i i got them for like an amazing price for uh, from c -Cent. highly recommend that site okay if you're from uk and you are into niche definitely check them out because they have amazing prices it's not sponsored it's nothing like i paid for those ones and i got two more that I paid for and um, i'm just telling you like secrets okay they're amazing they have um fragrance dubois they have roja they have initio they have parfum du marley they have pen Halligans, um killian bdk i got from them two bdks for like amazing deal because they were testers i got um mula mula from byron the only website where i could find mula mula i got good girl gone bad from killian and they have all the time like deal of the week or something like that uh where like they have like 50 percent off of like i don't know fragrance dubois or um atelier des or like very expensive niche perfumes and right now I, I do believe they have a sale so definitely check them out because it is the right website for niche perfumes amazing prices anyway delina everyone knows how delina smells like okay uh, do i really have to tell you okay i'm just gonna spray it very quickly read the notes but you already know delina has lychee rhubarb bergamot nutmeg in the opening middle turkish rose peony mass petalia and vanilla dry down cashmerian cedar vetiver and incense what i'm getting is this beautiful amazing rose slightly dark tart very creamy and a little bit just a little bit smoky i just love it i love the lina for me this one smells very similar to um the inspired version from juliana's but I, I just had to have the bottle, like this bottle, it's absolutely stunning, it's so cute, it's, I can't put the cap back, here we go, um, it's, it, it's Zelina, okay, it looks nice on the vanity, it, it looks good, and now the Lina exclusive, actually, I know, um, I think the Juliana version is not as powdery as this, because this one was a surprise for me, even though I tested it in the past, the exclusive version has lychee pear bergamot middle turkish rose wood incense dry down vanilla amber and woody notes it's definitely not as tart as the um, original delina and it's definitely very powdery it doesn't have any powdery notes listed but it's very powdery and a little bit more woody i would say i really like it i really like this one as well but now i realize that the Juliana version is not as powdery as this, and I kind of, here we go, um, I kind of like the original better. And I know I said in another video, uh, I was talking about initial atomic rose, and I was saying it gives me the Lina exclusive vibes. No, I have to correct that. Um, the rose, it's similar to the rose in the Lina, the original, not the exclusive. Now I realize that the exclusive is way more powdery, but it's just the rose. Everything else is different. Atomic Rose is like very dark, deep, it's like completely different. Just, um, they just share the same type of rose. I just wanted to mention that. But yeah, I love both of them. They're stunning, they're beautiful, they're very feminine. What can I say? Is the Lina and the Lina exclusive. Everyone knows about them, everyone loves them. Uh, I mean, not everyone, but most people really love them. Yeah, great scents. I really like them. Um, yeah, the Lina original and the Lina exclusive. I mentioned Initio and um, Atomic Rose and I told you how much I love that brand and I got two more perfumes. We have Rehab, obviously from Initio. This one uh, is coming in a white bottle and I had a decant of this and I really, really liked it. I was like, do I need this? Do I not? Do I need this? Do I not? Do I need this? And then again, I got this from c -Cent. Amazing deal. Um, I couldn't say no. Rehab has lavender bergamot me, uh, top middle vetiver cedar and patchouli dry down sandalwood musk and gaia Kud. i don't know why i'm getting this like chamomile tea and it's you're getting the sandalwood you're getting something woody but still fresh in the same time fresh without being citrusy it has this tea quality as well it's so different it's so beautiful it's so refined and it's it's unisex definitely it's not a deep deep dark scent like um all of the other initial that i've tested it's like way lighter 
vanilla light as in boring or you, you're not able to smell it, it's so different, it's so unique, but without being artistic. I'm not the biggest fan of like artistic niche. Um, I can like appreciate them, but I, I don't like wearing them. This is different, but it's so good. It's so good. I cannot really explain it to you because it doesn't smell like anything else I have in my collection. So that's very hard for me to explain to you. But it's beautiful. I'm not really... I, I'm getting the lavender. But it's just like... It's a mix between all of them. You're not getting like a strong lavender or you're not getting a strong patchouli or a strong sandal. It's just something very airy but still slightly woody in the same time. And maybe it's a little bit aromatic. I don't know. It's, it's amazing. It's just amazing. I love it. It's all year round. Anytime, any occasion, you need to test this thing. Absolutely amazing initial rehab. And the next initial that we have, because obviously we couldn't buy just one, when we are having amazing deals, uh, side effect. Side effect. I cannot open this thing. Just give me one second. That's the sleeve, that's the box, and that is the bottle. Side of pack has just four notes, and those are rum, vanilla, tobacco, and cinnamon. What I am getting is this perfectly unisex, sweet, but not too feminine. <sighs> Smells like a nightclub where the seats are leather. And people are wearing sweet perfumes and they're drinking rum and that's um, smoking tobacco. This is what I'm, I'm, I'm getting. Is this like pipe tobacco, like chewy tobacco? Doesn't smell like cigars, don't think about that. Is this chewy tobacco with rum and like leather, but sweet leather? It's delicious but without being grumant. It's very weird. It's so good. It's just so good. It's slightly boozy, but it's not boozy as Angel Share from Killian or like those type of scents. Don't think about that. Even though you see maybe rum, you, have, you see cinnamon. Don't think about that. It's, it's different, okay? Leather is not scratchy. It's not too much. I'm not the biggest fan of leather, but in this perfume really works. And it's just amazing, stunning, perfectly unisex. Like I said, sweet, but not too sweet. But again, still unisex. Doesn't have like a men's cologne or anything like that. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I think that this on a guy, phew, amazing. Like this thing is sexy, okay? This thing is like damn sexy. I really like it. I, I don't just really like it. I really, really like it. Initial, um, what's the name? Side effect. Okay, let's move on to another perfume that I actually mentioned in another video. We have from bar number nine, Tribeca. I absolutely hate this box. Why their packaging, even though their perfumes are so expensive, the packaging is this. I don't understand. The bottle is not the worst bottle, okay? They have like words in this. Um, but it's not the best either. Tribeca, it's a perfume that I've tested in store. At first I wasn't sure, then I started to like it, then I was obsessed, then I got a sample and I had to have it. Has... Tribeca has a similar vibe to Bacala Rouge, yes, lots of, lots of people are saying that. Tribeca changes a lot on my skin, sometimes I'm getting Bacala Rouge with something creamy, almost milky. Other days I'm getting this like hazelnut, almost like popcorn vibe, and sometimes I'm getting like Bacala Rouge with jasmine. It's very weird, I know, I have no idea why all of this is happening. Tribeca has opening cacao and hazelnut. Middle we have cedar and jasmine, and right now we have ambroxan, caramel, and moss. <sighs> I'm obsessed with this perfume right now. I'm still getting this like baccarat vibe. Right now I'm getting like super creamy, milky hazelnut with some baccarat rouge. It's absolute beast mode, and not beast mode as baccarat rouge. When that perfume, you can smell it then you, you cannot smell anything and five hours later it's still there and you're able to smell it. This it's beast mode the entire time, you're able to smell it the entire time. I would say it's not a safe blind buy because you don't know what you're gonna get. 
lots of people on Fragmatica are comparing this to Baccarat Rouge. Lots of people are saying it has nothing to do with Baccarat Rouge, it's hazelnut. Some people are saying it's just um, jasmine. I'm getting all of those things, but like in different days. It depends on, by the weather, I have no idea by what, but some, like sometimes I'm getting a completely different scent and I have no idea why. So that's why I'm saying it's not as safe as blind buy because you don't know what you're gonna get. But it's so good. It's so, it's so good. It's extremely expensive. I don't pay full price. I got, I think, Harrods or one of those websites. I can't remember. I got like 20% off, something like that, okay? Um, and I couldn't say no. I couldn't say no because this thing is never on sale, like ever, ever, ever. So, oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. I love it. I love it, but again, you need to test it because to, maybe to your nose it's gonna be like straight up Baccarat Rouge and it's not worth having two of them. Yeah, love it. Um, I've tested the other one, the Green, Green Witch something. Um, people are comparing the two of them. I didn't see anything similar, okay? Might be just me, but people are saying they're like dupes. I didn't see anything. Um, yeah, but Rebecca is my baby. I love it. Um, it's so damn expensive, but I just love it. Yeah. Bar number nine, Tribeca. Okay, guys, we have two more perfumes. Next, we have from Tiziana Terenzi, Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia is a perfume that I never thought I'm gonna buy because um, I already have Kirke, I already have from the Quinto Canto collection. I mean, it's another brand, but it's still Tiziana Terenzi. I have Strignina, that's similar vibe. Uh, what else do I have? I have Tabit from Tiziana Terenzi. They're all like the, that like fruity, super fruity, juicy, playful, summer, um, strong type of scent. Similar to Herba Pura from Zerjov, they're all very similar. And people were saying that this one is like extremely similar, so I said, I don't need it. But I had a chance to test this one, Andromeda, and all, like lots of Tiziana Terenti perfumes, and I really like this one. And I know that it's similar, but it's also different in a way. I got mine from Old Beauty. I think they have like, they have like sale. I think it's still on sale. It's like under 100 pounds or something like that. Or I paid under 100 pounds because I have some like points and I pay like, it was a ridiculous price. It was like a very, very good price because this one retails for, I don't know, 250, something like that, which is a lot. But like for the price that I paid for, I couldn't say no. Cassiopeia has notes. Opening passion fruit, cassis, lemon, and fern. Fern, fern, fern. I have no idea. Uh, me, there we have tea rose, carnation, and lily of the valley, and dry down have tonka bean, musk, and sandalwood. Yes, it's very similar. But for me, Kirke has almost like this wood in the background. Um, this one, it's way fresher. It's still very fruity, but it's not it's not green as Vele. I got Vele a while ago and I just like sold that perfume right after because I didn't like it. It's just this super uplifting, fruity, fresh, without being too citrusy scent. Very girly, very flirty, very spring, summer. I, I really like it. Tabit for me has more like a sand, amber note. Um, Kirke is darker deeper and then Serignina has this like raspberry ice cream vibe this one is like the fruit salad i really like it um, i think what you have to do is just go if you have tiziana terenzi in your in your store go in there smell all of them and then you decide which one is your favorite for me herba pura from zerja Zer was way too similar um andromeda was way too similar this one was different because again it's fresher do, I do really like it and um, all of the perfumes are extremely long lasting on my skin except for Al Contrario but that's like a different collection but the ones from this collection they're extremely strong. I can't complain. Be small on my skin. Yeah, really really like it. Cassiopeia from Tiziana Terenzi. And the last one that we have in here is from Floraiku and this one is Between Two Trees. Now, uh, my box and my bottle don't really look exactly like um, the one in the picture because this is a 100 ml and the one in the picture it's a 50 ml normally like this brand it's well known for that very long cap that most people absolutely adore and they just hate you're getting a 50 ml and then you're getting a travel size a 10 ml so it's 60 ml in total and the cap actually acts like a case and um, 
it's interesting but I just don't like the cap okay I just don't like it and I didn't know that I have 100 mil not in all of them but they have in this one I got from I think their official website oh, I can't remember exactly from Harrods I can't remember I got a sample kit 11 samples I think it's like 20 pounds or something like that so I highly recommend go and check that one out I actually got a sample kit to test one umbrella for two I really liked it but I do have this baby that is way better in my opinion um EBK deep in desire amazing but I've tested this one as well and I was like oh my god this is so different it's definitely not me but I really enjoy it so it's here I checked online and I, I'm pretty sure again it was from Harrods and I got like discount something I don't know first order something 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 friend something like I think it was 15 20 percent can't remember the 100 mil is cheaper than the 50 mil which for me is ridiculous because it's a 100 mil I know you don't have the like big cap and you don't have like the case but it's 100 mil and it's cheaper so I couldn't say no to that between two trees has just three notes we have grapefruit in the opening mate in the middle vetiver in the dry down this perfume it's aromatic it's earthy in the same time oh, it's so beautiful it's so calming and relaxing and I have no words it's so unique it's so different it has like similar vibe as Initio where it's like earthy but fresh but cold in the same time but not boring but not too artistic I wore this one a couple of times and I got compliments okay it's very different it's not sweet it's perfectly unisex in my opinion it's a very calming relax relaxing scent has again this like tea thing going on I know how much it smells like okay and um, you're getting some grapefruit you're getting the, like this perfect balanced and mixed vetiver that is not too green not too earthy grapefruit that is not too citrusy and then mate I suppose is like this type of herbal tea I really like it and it's very strong for a perfume that is not deep it's not dark it's a very strong scent very beautiful very well blended get a sample kit don't blind buy okay don't blind buy perfumes from like Florico because they're like extremely expensive but get a sample kit you're getting 11 perfumes in there and they have like very different scents I some of them I really like some of them I just like hated with this it was a, an amazing surprise I'm so happy I'm like so 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 happy that I have it um yeah it's just amazing between two trees from Florico it's our last scent Alright guys, so that was it for today. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, activate the notification bell so you're going to be notified when I post the second part of this perfume haul. Um, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know which one um, you like, which one you don't and all of that. And yeah, that was it for today. I'm going to see you in my next one. Bye-bye.